Here I have a piece of cabinet grade cherry plywood. After I break it down, it's going to become the base, shelving, and dividers for the unit. Right now I'm going to use the FS1900 guide rail, as well as the TS55R, to break it down into manageable pieces. Referencing against the mark I just made, I'll lay down the guide rail. And the saw will cut right to that point where the splinter guard terminates. And I'll clamp the stock up with quick clamps. For optimal cut quality, it's important to set the splinter guard so that it's flush with the surface of this plywood. And that's going to keep um, the off-cut side from tearing out. So just a quick safety note here. You see that I have my guide rail extended behind the plywood quite a bit. And this is to make sure that when I plunge the saw, the blade can completely um, plunge to the depth that I need to cut before contacting the plywood. And the reason for this is that if, if I were to actually plunge right here and the front of the blade were to contact the the stock, uh, it would has the possibility to yank the blade down to full depth really quickly and that could be dangerous. So uh, the reason I like using the FS1900 guide rail is that it gives me more than enough room here uh, to safely plunge down and then cut forward. I'm going to attach the hose and cord deflector so this will help and the hose slides smoothly as I slide the saw down the rail. Attach the hose and the plug it cord to the saw. So these here are rail dogs and they attach to the Festool guide rail and this nut here slides into the T-track on the bottom of the rail and this enables the track to utilize the holes on the MFT perforated top and this will help me make a square cut. So similar to the squaring the butcher block video you can also see on my channel, I can just slide these guys in there and lightly tighten down the rail dog and just align it to the holes on the MFT top and then I could just drop it in and line up my cut line or my mark to the splinter guard and just make the cut. Of course before I can drop my rail on, into the holes I need to make sure that my stock that I'm cutting is, is squared to the holes as well so these are the quaz dogs um, and I'll just butt my piece up against these guys, these guys and make sure they're flush up against them. And just clamp everything up. At this point I've broken down my pieces so they are small enough that I can handle them safely on the table saw. In addition I've also squared the edges that I need to square off. So what I, all I need to do right now is just cut uh, the edges parallel and cut them to finish size on the table saw.